dear brothers and sisters, this is Reverend Melissa Smith here, and it's so wonderful to have the opportunity to come before you and to just have a quick chat, if you will. I uh, know that here on my YouTube channel you have received lots of information that is mind-blowing. I would say mind-boggling, but it's beyond that. It is mind-blowing because when one says that since 200 BC to the present day that humanity has been taught a lie, a false truth, given books that were used as tools to help feed the lies, that they want it to be written upon your minds and your hearts and your spirits that it is something that is so unfathomable to believe and yet brothers and sisters it is true don't take my word for it do your research yourself you have all the tools today available to you the internet that's the main source of, of, of that's your main resource right there, because everything that we, that has been hidden from mankind has been kept in libraries, in museums, church um, archives. Why? Because they want very few people to know the truth. What are some of the things that were kept hidden from you? Most significantly and most importantly, that the Bible, the compilation, the Bible, because let's clarify, it isn't the Bible. The Bible consists of the words of the prophets, Moses, Abraham, Elijah, David, Solomon, but in between those documents, those books, ancient Rome inserted false books, books that tweet, if you will, what they wanted you to believe. And it isn't so much Rome, because they're just humans like you and I. No, they have a higher power that's been guiding them. And let's just say that he isn't heavenly. Oh yes, it is the one the very few people talk about. You know that he is. You know that he's around. And yet some of you are fearful to say his name, fearful to even imagine him. And yet, each and every day he has, he has some say so in your lives by what you watch on television, by the type of music that you listen to, what you read in the papers, the media, all of it, it's being, it's been tweaked. So that you will, you think that you are all independently thinking on your own, but you're not. Y'all are being, you have been programmed. And it's not been just for a few days, a few weeks. It's been for centuries. Because in 381 BC, at the Council of Nicaea meeting in Constantinople, Yesu, Maria, the Hebrew Christ, the Messiah, was, well, he, he never really was the Christ of the New Testament. Because the Christ of the, of the New Testament is a character named Isus, I-E-S-O-U-S. -E and you can spell his name also as I-E-S-U-S. Who is Isus? He is the sun god of Heliopolis, the Greek sun god of Heliopolis. And when you translate Isus into Latin, you know what you get? Jesus. The Latin pronunciation, Jesus, is spelled J E S U S. So, for all of you, that go to church, you read the documents, you pray to Jesus, Christ Jesus, you're praying to the sun god, Isus. 
the Greek sun god. Look at who gave you the Bible. Who gave you the compilation of the Bible. Who gave you the New Testament that three-fourths of it was written by Paul. Paul. Okay? Three-fourths of it. Practically all of it was written by Paul and whomever else. I mean, when you, when you do your research, you, you read that the author is anonymous. Is the book of Deuteronomy the author anonymous? No. Writings of King David anonymous? No. Writings of King Solomon anonymous? No. So how is it that you took these anonymous writings to be his? To, to be the words of our creator, Yoa. And for his anointed one, the son of man, Yesu Maria, the Christ. Yes, to her Messiah. That's right. Our King. Who who lives and who is returning. Dearest brothers and sisters, I can be a bit of a chatterbox at times, so I'm going to cut this short. But there are many videos here on my here on my channel for you to view. Click on the Google link that will take you to Path to the Holy Law over 800 pages it is the the books in order because before the end and everyone knows that we are living in the last days before the end your creator wants you all to know what happened and all that is that was and is being done for you for your ancestors for all of us from the very beginning Ancient Rome can't take that from us. You give them your power. Take it back. Stop reading their books. They're fake. They're false. Okay? They, they have no worth, no value in the kingdom of heaven. None. Okay? So, ponder what I've said. Pray on it. But take not my words. But also realize that right now, prophecy is being fulfilled because most significantly, everyone's been speaking about the last pope, the last pope. And you know, they've been planting the seed because they really know. You know why there's going to be the last pope? Because Christianity as created by Rome will be no more. Because you all are going to open your eyes. Read the books of Enoch. Read the gospel of peace. Read the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. You'll see that your Bible and your New Testament is just bits and pieces that we're taking from, or rather the, the New Testament most significantly, was compiled from different texts taken out of the Gospel of Peace, taken out of the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. A whole new world that is not new but old awaits you. And also, be not afraid of the unknown. Be not afraid of that which does not look like us because in this new age and let's look at new age. New age is not as as, as everyone likes to, likes to think of as a new age music or the new age way. No. In this new age that will usher in Christ Yesu Maria's return the return of Yesu HaMessiah, we need to realize that we are not the only created beings by our Creator. Okay? They all don't look like us. Some of them are part animal, part human. Mainly human, and then a little, they have a little bit of animal features. Some have more animal features and very little human-like features. So they that you're calling aliens and, and, and they that you're calling reptilians all are not bad, okay? Something that, that, that is close to my heart and something that you should ponder is why, why has our Creator kept so much kept away from us, the invisible world away from us? because we're small and because we're fearful. But brothers and sisters, brave enough. Come on, gird, gird yourselves. Pick up your crosses. And come on, let's do this together. Stand together. You and I, take my hand. 
take my hand and let's bear this cross together for them. We love you. We bless you and your families. The enemy is trying to make it very difficult for some, for many, by affecting the economy. But don't hang in there. Don't, don't, don't let these, these false fears get you down. Come together as one and all is going to be alright. In wisdom, peace, and love, we bless and we thank thee and we just look forward to hearing from you. So send me an email. Take care and bless him.